What is up folks, how's it going? This is Waj from MW Technology, and today we're going to be taking a look at possibly one of the best solutions for hooking up a triple monitor setup for your laptop, thanks to the z Snap. Now about two years ago, we reviewed the TriScreen 2 from z and at that time it was one of the best integrated solutions that housed two 10-inch displays within a frame that would expand out to accommodate laptops of different sizes that would attach to the actual border of the laptop laptop display screen and it worked relatively well hooked up through USB-C and using my MacBook Pro at the time it really was an ultimate solution for productivity editing or for anybody that wants to maximize their mobile workspace now with this new version the snap z has taken customer feedback as well as improved upon the initial design of the tri-screen 2 to further optimize and streamline the process of making a the best triple monitor configuration on any laptop. Now with the new version, you have larger dual 13.3 inch displays that utilize their patent pending snap technology, which attaches to the frame using a very powerful magnets, which also integrates power and data connectivity. So the cable management and overall look of the setup is a lot more cleaner and better integrated. In addition to that, you can also change the orientation of the displays either utilizing them in a traditional landscape position or vertical portrait position. Really cool if you want to maximize your vertical screen real estate. Additionally, the uh, individual hinges on the bracket themselves have a greater range of rotation up to 225 degrees. So you can actually flip one of the displays around what they call presentation mode and show off what's on your display while working on your main other two displays. So a lot of flexibility in terms of use case scenarios. Another improvement is the overall build quality, fit and finish of everything. The TriScreen 2, although it was fairly light and compact, was made out of injected mobile plastic, which did feel a little bit cheap and a little bit wonky at times during setup. The Snap, on the other hand, is primarily constructed out of anodized aluminum. Not only does it look a lot better, but it's a lot more sturdy from a setup standpoint and potentially a little bit better from a longevity aspect as well. Now, from a portability standpoint, the TriScreen 2 was certainly smaller footprint and weighed less than the snap thanks to the fact that it did use smaller displays 10 inch versus 13.3 and plastic is always going to be lighter than aluminum now for me personally that trade-off is not that big of a deal because most laptops that i'm using these days are 13 inches or larger so the footprint doesn't really matter and the weight 300 more grams is not a big deal to carry around with my laptop bag or carry on now in terms of setup process the snap is different from the tri-screen 2 which was originally a all-in-one solution where the frame and dual displays were all built into one housing the snap is made out of three individual pieces the two displays as well as the snap bracket now you could uh put Put everything all in one carrying case that came with my snap and uh, this should be still fairly portable and uh, basically to set everything up you take the uh, snap bracket you snap it onto your laptop display and uh, basically goes around the outer edges just like the original and then you have these two flip out points that utilize this magnetic connection which inside has the data points for both power and video connectivity now there are still two USB-C slash Thunderbolt connections at the top, which you are going to have to physically connect to your laptop on either one side or uh, both sides, depending upon which laptop you're using. I'm actually using the M1 MacBook Air, so it's uh, going to occupy both of my USB-C connections on the left-hand side, which kind of sucks, but you still have left and right pass-through USB-C connections built into the bracket itself. You can see on the bottom left and right side of the bracket, and you can also use a USB hub to get additional connectivity options. On the back of each of the uh, snap displays, you'll see three different points of attachment. You can hook up uh, either display left right configuration either in portrait or landscape mode depending upon what kind of configuration you personally want and uh, you also see at the back of the uh, bracket you will have a center mounted telescoping kickstand which will allow you to take off any undue stress on the laptop hinge so you have everything nice and stable now if you're using an m1 slash m2 macbook that doesn't support technically more than one external display output you are going to need to download the display link 
driver found on the ZBAC website. That will basically create a virtual third monitor that essentially allows you to have the triple monitor set up. There are some limitations. Firstly, it does take a little bit while to actually boot up the monitor when using the display link driver because it just has to do some extra communication through the virtualization and then output that to the USB-C to wake up the third monitor uh, but it works nonetheless and once you're up and going it's just like having an extra third monitor natively attached. Now when I was first setting up the monitors I did have some issues with having both in a vertical portrait position but uh, thanks to some support via Zbeck. I actually got uh, everything to work. You just have to make sure you have the right orientation in the display link adapter for the rotation settings. And indeed, you can use both monitors in a vertical portrait position, just like you can in the horizontal landscape position. Now, the quality of the 13.3 inch displays are pretty darn great for what they are. They're certainly not going to compete with the native built-in MacBook Air display, but very close to nonetheless. You have 400 nits in terms of a brightness, a native resolution of 1920 by 1080, as well as a maximum refresh rate of 60 hertz. Perfectly usable for productivity reasons. And if you're going to do some video editing like myself, definitely nice to have that extra screen real estate, but you're probably not going to rely on the exact reference quality of your footage because the accuracy is just not going to be as good as your native built-in laptop screen, but it's a compromise uh, I think a lot of people would take just to get that extra functionality of having all that awesome screen real estate. Now, in most cases, I think the Snap is definitely a great improvement from the Tri-Screen 2. The biggest takeaways for me from an advantage standpoint is definitely the consistency in terms of setup, the overall build quality, the larger displays, the ability to have presentation mode where you can flip the screen all the way around, as well as using the monitors in landscape or portrait position, all in the manner of a quick setup that utilizes the magnetic snap technology, which does make everything look a lot more streamlined and better integrated. The only slight drawbacks compared to the previous gen tri-screen 2 was the fact that you are looking at a larger overall footprint and slightly heavier product. In addition to the fact that the tri-screen 2 monitors did have uh, built-in uh, mini HDMI connections as well as uh, DisplayPort, giving you a little bit more options in terms of connectivity for different laptops. And additionally, you do have a slightly heavier price tag uh, thanks to the fact that you do have better displays, better build quality, etc., etc. So uh, at this point, both are still really great options. I would probably still go with the Snap just for the fact that you are looking at larger displays and I think that's probably going to be better uh, for maximizing screen real estate and the portability factor is still really, really good on the Snap in addition to the fact that it's just a really nice integrated product that uh, will definitely replace any desktop grade workstation PC if you have a fast enough laptop and really give you the best of everything. You have the portability factor as well as the capabilities of a full desktop workstation PC. But besides that guys, that's really it. I'm looking forward to using the Snap on a consistent day-to-day -day basis since I'm using my laptop more than anything else these days for my work. Love to know what you guys are using right now for your current setup. Are you using laptop, desktop? Would you be interested in a portable triple screen solution like this for your laptop setup? If you have any specific questions, let me know in the description down below. Big thanks to ZBAC for supporting the channel, for continuing to supply us awesome products like this. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe, have post notifications turned on, and we'll see you real soon.